Well, we're back. Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to build another sun catcher. This one here is going to be an hexagon, which is a six-sided project. Uh, we're going to use the uh, the same solar lights that tops off the uh, garden stakes that we've used before. We're going to have three of them in it. This is the guys right here. Uh, as we said before in the other videos, uh, they charge by sunlight. Uh, there's a photo cell in here that will turn them on when it gets dark and they'll burn until they run the battery down and then the next morning as the sun comes out they'll start to charge again and uh, they'll be fully charged and then when it gets dark again uh, they'll come back on so you uh, you don't have to do anything with them the only thing you do is uh, when you do install them you just pull this white tab out which activates the battery on them so we're going to use three of these this is going to be a hexagon so it's going to have six equal sides and uh, determine how big to make our panels i'll show you how we're going to do that so uh, we're going to need uh, a little t-square we're going to use this one right here you've seen that in my other videos and we're going to need a ruler first thing we're going to do we're going to take our piece of paper here and we're going to divide to find the center of it it's five and a half it's a 11 by eight and a half by 11 so it's going to be five and a half by four and a quarter so we're going to take and we're just going to draw a line right here, here, and here. And then we're going to set our lights in here. We're going to set these two here. I'll just use one of these. Uh, we're going to set it right here on this corner. And I'm going to take and draw a circle around it. And I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to draw this one on a circle. And then the third one will be right in here, and it's going to go right up against these two here, just like that. And we'll take and we'll draw a circle around that. So that'll represent our three solar lights we're going to put in this project. Now, we need to determine how big we want to make it from the sides here. And I've uh, always like to give it a little bit of a wiggle room. So what we're going to do... We're going to come out here and we're going to come out here a quarter of an inch away on each side. I'm moving away from my ruler here so I get a true quarter inch. Sometimes the end of it is rounded. At that point, you just take your T-square and you come in here and you just draw a straight line down and draw a straight line down. And from there, we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring in, this is the 60, 30 degree triangle. We've used this before. The 60 degree uh, we use when we're doing the uh, three-sided one. In this case, we're doing the six-sided one. So we're gonna need a 30 degree triangle. So it sits in here like this. And here again, we've determined we're gonna go with a quarter inch right here. So we're gonna come up to this solar light right here and we're gonna come within a quarter of an inch right there. We're going to just take a line and we're going to draw it right here. I'm going to turn this over. Get that to go in here. Got it stuck on the edge here. There we go. Come up here like this. So this, from here to here, is going to determine how big our panels will be. We'll make six of these. I could stop right here, and because I already got to know that this is the size we want, they're going to be three and an eighth inches. So if you want to figure, finish this on out, you just come up here to three and an eighth inch right here. You measure it, put your little tick mark right here. You move your square on up here, put your... 30 degree triangle on here, you come right to this point right here. Bring it down. Come over in this side here, match up the points. And you bring it up. This gives you the six equal sides all the way around. Our solar lights will fit in here. This gives us a little bit of a wiggle room here. So we've got some room for uh, air in case uh, this is a little bit too, too large or too small. So our solar lights will fit right in here like that. 
So what we'll do now is we'll go offline. We're going to bill us a form, and the form will be three and an eighth inch wide, and that'll go ahead and give us a a system for making the, our project. Uh, three of these panels that we make are going to have hangers on them. The other three won't, so we'll hang this with three three pieces of chain. So I'll show you how we're going to do that when we get ready to make the panels. So we'll be back after we make the form, and uh, we'll also show you how we're going to make that form. And then we'll uh, get ready to make some uh, panels. All right, we're back. So we're going to go ahead and build a form for this now. So we determined in the last video that uh, these panels need to be three and an eighth inches. I took another look at the drawing and uh, I didn't want quite as much uh, free play in the, uh, in the uh, project as I thought before. So we're gonna cut that back to make it straight three inches. So the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna build a form. We're going to uh, take a square. I'm gonna use a carpenter square here and I'm gonna just set it right in here against the backstop against my uh, work table. I'm going to use a small piece of our form wood. This is the wood I told you we cut out of a piece of three quarter inch pine, put it on a table saw and just push it through uh, on our gate at a quarter inch wide. So it works very nice to uh, make us a little form. Uh, this one here has been cut to two and three uh, quarters. So I'll give us a little bit of a wiggle room for our three inch wide form. So I'm going to set it right in here. And I'm just going to take some small wire brads. They look like this. Uh, they're going to go right in here and we're going to put it right against our table. I'm building on a homosoit board, so we're going to use stick pins to put the project together. So we can just go ahead and we'll just put this right there. We'll just put a couple of little of brads in here. Okay, then we're going to slide our square down and we're going to make one our first up piece here. The up piece here, we're going to come down here and we're going to come close. This notch right here is where our hanger is going to go. So if you watch my other videos, you'll see that I always leave an area open there. So we push this up against the square, make sure it's good and tight. Put a couple brads through here to keep this so it's straight. Okay, now take your square, pull it out, turn it over, push it down tight, and take your other piece of down wood or form, push it in here, bring it down here, and you take your roller, and we're going to look for three inches wide. Okay, that's two and seven eighths, so we need to be a little bit bigger. Okay, so we're a little bit big there, so I'm just going to push it back just a little bit to three inches. So we'll build six panels, three inches, and uh, as far as the length goes, uh, I think we'll probably make this about eight and a half long. Uh, you can make it any length you want. If you want to make it real short, you can do that also. So we'll put our brads in here, nail that down, get one more little brad here. And we'll get ready to put this together. I don't like that one. Hold on here. All right, put one last one here. Just keep it up straight. So now we got our form. So we can take our square out, set it aside. So we're going to have U came come down here and back up here. The U came we're going to use is a. Is we've got, like we've used on all the other projects. It's uh, 7 30 seconds. It has a crown on it. Uh, it looks like this. I'll show you what it looks like. I think we've talked about this quite a bit. Uh, it has the makes the letter U. Uh, it, this is the crown right here. It's kind of rounded. It's 7 30 seconds across. And so this will be what we form all the way around. Uh, we'll put a hanger right here. I'll show you how we're going to make the hanger. It's going to be made out of a uh, 332nd steel cotter pin that's zinc plated and uh, so if you've had a chance you might want to watch my video on how to make the hangers uh, by himself but we'll go through it again on this video so you'll get a chance to see how we're going to do this so we're going to make six of these panels and then when we put them together I have a form it's a little jig that I've made it's on a 30 degree angle so it makes it easier to solder them together and uh, we'll go ahead and finish that up. So we'll be back uh, when we get ready. I'll go ahead and cut some lead cane for this and we'll get back and we'll show you how we're gonna put this together. 
All right, we're back. We went ahead and cut all the lead for the uh, project. Uh, I took and cut all of the down pieces for our project. There's going to be 12 of these since we're going to make six panels. And I cut them all at a 45 on the one on the one edge here. So you can take a look at how they look. So here's all 12 of them. And then I cut the header you came. We've got three that look like this. They're just 45s on each side. And then we have three that look like this. These are on a 45, but they also have a notch cut in them. And that's the one, that'll be the three, three that we're gonna put the hangers on. So I'll show you how, to, how we're gonna do that. Um, we're gonna take a steel cotter pin, this one here, right here. It's uh, steel, it's zinc plated. Whatever you do, don't try to do a stainless steel cotter pin because you won't be able to bend it. So you take this cotter pin, you take a pair of long nose pliers and you put it right inside the loop here. And I'm taking a small piece of tubing. It's right here, it's brass tubing. 3 30 seconds across the center here. You can get this at hobby stores or uh, any, any stores that carry any kind of hobby supplies. And you just take it and you stick it on here like this. And you pull it out here to 90 degrees like that okay so that becomes our hanger now this leg right here is going to go underneath the u came across the top this one's going to go down the side and because this one here our glass is only that are for our header is only one and a quarter you see that it's sticking beyond that we're going to trim that edge off because that'll interfere with our glass that we're going to stick in so we don't want that to happen so we just take a pair of long nose pliers, just like this. I just usually stick it in here about a quarter of an inch and cut these legs off here. So we'll cut these off just like that. Okay, so we're going to take our first piece of U came here. We're going to insert it right in here, just like that. We're going to take our first piece of header you came right here, this one here, and we're going to take one of our cotter pins. We're going to set it into the groove right there, and it's going to go right inside this like that. And there becomes our hanger right here. And then this piece of you came is going to go down here like that. We're going to come down here to the end. We're going to take and pin it where we're going to stop. We've marked here, this is where our header glass is going to go, and here's where our project's going to end. Uh, the header glass now is going to be ground back right here. You see how this is ground back? This is for the leg that goes across underneath here. Otherwise, if you don't do that, what will happen is that the, the cotter pin will kick this out and make it a little bit bigger, and then your project will start crooked, and as you start to build, it just gets worse. So I took and cut all the header pieces and I ground them all back here. So they're all ready to go. They're just a little under three inches. So they will take and fit right in here. You just take and set it in into your U came and you slide it down. Right up here, just like that. Now we're going to take a piece of H came, which is this one here. This is the this is the lead that goes across the top, and we're just going to take and we're going to mark it like this. We're going to take our lead shears, and we're just going to take and cut it, and we're going to set it in here, set it in on an angle, and just pull it down. As so you can see, that's a little bit too long. You want to make these nice and tight if you can, because then you get a better solder joint. That's what we want right there. And we can just take and we're going to put a pin in here. Now this area in here, this is a terrific uh, time to use all of that little scrap piece of glass that you have. And you're going to, you know, you wonder, what am I going to do with all that piece uh, that I've got left over? So that's what we're going to do in here. So I'm going to move uh, move our little drawing over here. This is the one I'm showing where, where we're going to put the hanger pieces. But if you can picture this, this is our panel right here. We've got our header across here. And then we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna fill this in with all kinds of different shapes. Maybe we'll run one way down here and we're gonna come across here. 
So anyway, we're just going to fill that in at random with all kinds of different colors. And uh, we'll fill that in. And then when we come back, uh, we'll show you how we're going to solder it up. So we're going to fill this in with all colored glass. And we're going to make six of these panels. And then we're going to put them on a little uh, jig that I made. It's got a 30 degree angle that sits like this. We can solder right down the center of the, of the V between them. And we just keep rotating it around until we get back to the start finish. So anyway, uh, we'll be back on the next video. This will be filled in and we'll show you how we're going to solder it up. And then we'll go offline. We'll make the other five and then we'll put it together. All right, we're back. Uh, we got everything all filled in here now. And uh, if you haven't done a project like this, this is a lot of fun because we can just use scrap glass for all of these areas. Uh, and uh, if you watch some of my other videos, I use a term called cut and stack. That's kind of how this is. There's no pattern to it. So you can just go anywhere you want to as far as uh, putting glass in here. Um, as far as the length goes on this, you could cut this back and make it shorter or you could make it longer if you wanted to. Uh, I just went with this particular size just because it was uh, on a whim. Um, all of these things are uh, originals are one of a kind, so they're all scattered all over. So because this one here is going to be the one with the hanger on, I'm going to put a little spacer across here. We didn't cut this. But uh, I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to take a, just a piece of H came right here, this one right here, and we're going to cut the heart out of it. And we're just going to put our dikes in here, and we're just going to cut this across here like this. So we just want the crown part of it. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to take and trim it up here a little bit if it's got any little part of the crown hanging down here or the heart. We're just take and trim this out of here a little bit. Okay, and we're going to set it in here on an angle, and it needs to be trimmed down just a little bit. So we're going to trim this back just a little bit. We want to fit it in there tight. There we go. I'm going to push it in there nice and tight. Make sure it's straight. I got lines marked here if you notice it. Okay, the reason I'm putting that in there is because our hanger, remember the cotter pin is back going across the back here. We're going to have six of these panels together to make this project. So these are going to get fairly heavy. So uh, by putting this in here, it strengthens, strengthens this corner right here because it ties it into all this other stuff. Uh, the other three, we're going to make three panels like this with hangers. We're going to make three panels that have no hangers. And on the three panels that have no hangers, we're not going to put this in here. So we're, so we're going to have three with this down piece, three without. So we're going to go ahead and solder this right now. And if you watch any of my other videos, you'll see that I usually like to uh, uh, take the joints here and I'll hit them with a, a small uh, stainless steel brush. Looks like this one here. And uh, so we'll just go over those real quick and just knock them, knock any uh, oxidation off. Uh, the oxidation comes from the air. It also comes from your fingers, oil on them and so forth. Um, it just helps the solder to flow a little easier. You don't have to do this, but I like to do it. Uh, you get a nice uh, flow on your solder. The solder we're using is a 60-40. Uh, I uh, like this. It flows nice. It melts at about a uh, little over... Uh, uh, right, right around uh, 680 to 700 degrees. So we're going to use our Waller 100 watt uh, soldering iron, which has a 700 degree tip on it. Uh, we're using a liquid flux here. This one I like. It's a waterless or a water soluble, and it's smokeless. So we're just going to take and we're going to take and we're going to flux up our areas right here with a little bit of flux. Small projects like this, you can just go ahead and do the whole thing if you want to. And uh, just put a little flux on all your solder joints. Uh, if you miss one, it'll show you, it'll tell you right away because the solder won't flow very well. And uh, so I'm going to take our solder and iron. This is the Waller run right here. It has a uh, 700 degree tip on it. I usually take it on a piece of uh, came and run the tip over just a little bit on something to kind of be sure that it doesn't have a heat spike in it. Then we're going to take our solder and I like to hold it down flat like this. And just let it come down on the joint real quick like that and just move along i usually like to use about a sixteenth of an inch of solder right off the tip and that area there will will keep it from uh, to give you a nice bead on your solder if you have a solder joint that you don't like you can go back over it uh, 
and, uh, and dress it up a little bit here. Uh, soldering is one of those things that you do, uh, and the more you do it, the, the better your joints look. Uh, the biggest mistake you can make when you're soldering is you don't have an iron with enough wattage or enough heat. Otherwise, uh, and what happens was it'll start to, uh, instead of flowing like this, where it flows out from your joints, it will just kind of gob up and it doesn't give you a nice smooth uh, look to it. So we're going to go ahead and get all of these done. That one there, you see it kind of sucked back under, just taking, gifted it a little bit more on it. Move your brush out of the way. These projects like this are fun to do because like I say, they use a lot of your scrap glass. They're kind of all originals and uh, we won't have any two panels that'll be the same. So after you get it all soldered up, uh, take a look at it real quick here. I usually just take an old washcloth or something to kind of wipe off some of the excess uh, flux on it. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our pins out here and we're gonna turn this over. So here's our here's what our panel's gonna look like. So remember, there's gonna be six of these hexagon. So anyway, uh, that kind of gives you a little bit of a look of what this is gonna look like. So it ought to be very pretty. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn this over now and we're gonna solder this side. Uh, like on some of the other videos, if you've watched them, these downsides here, these sides right here, we're not gonna solder these joints along here because the other piece of other panels are start, are gonna start to go in here. And if we solder it with a little glob of solder here, this won't sit down flat against this angle right here, against the edge. And when you when you solder it, you'll either have solder flow through, which will go into the um, outside edge, or you'll have a gap in it. So when you light it up at night, you'll have these gaps along the edges of your project. So we don't wanna do that. So we'll just hit this real quick with our uh, little stainless steel brush here. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, solder this, this backside up minus all the outside edges. Uh, when we get ready to put it all together, if you want to go ahead and so uh, solder those outside edges together, you can do that after we get it together. But don't do those before it's together because they'll create a problem for you. And uh, you'll have to get out a file or something and try to smooth those down so that the corners don't have a gap in them. So here again, uh, we're going to just go ahead and solder right here. And we're going to go solder right here. This area here, I'm going to leave open for a second because we're going to put a cleat across here. A cleat is just a little piece of U came or H came. We're going to put across here, which will hold up our shelf for our solar light. So uh, I'll show you what we're, how we're going to do that here in a second. So we'll just go ahead and solder these up a little bit here. Uh, this is the inside of our solar lantern. So uh, some people might not even say, well, we don't need to really solder that. Well, this is a great time to practice your soldering here. Plus this adds strength to it as you solder these pieces all together. So we'll go ahead and just get these done real quick. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that cleat on here. And the cleat, I'm gonna put a little piece right here. So I'm gonna try to get this out here get up here on the camera and see if I can do this so that we can uh, kind of get a picture of what we want to do here. So we're just going to take some uh, regular uh, piece of H cane. Remember, that's the one that looks like this. And we're just going to cut these at random. We're going to cut a piece uh, about uh, maybe an inch and a half long here. We'll cut three of these because we're going to use one on three of the panels. So we get, we get our three little pieces right here. And then I'm going to use a pair of medical clamps. Uh, somebody gave me these a long time ago. They, they snap together. And what we're going to do, we're going to put this right here. And that'll act like a little shelf so we can put our base in here to hold our solar lanterns. So I'm going to try to do this so we can so you can see this. I've noticed on a couple of my videos, this kind of gets hidden and nobody can see what we're doing. So we're gonna stick our clamp on here like this and it clamps and holds our little H came. I'll just put a little flux on it right here. 
And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to hold this away so you can see this. I'm going to hold it right there. My solder has a little bubble. My solder iron has a little bubble of solder on it right there. Now, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. It's right there on the tip. So I'm going to just take and hold that right between the two edges of the came. And that'll tack solder that right there. I can take my clamps out now. I'm just going to take my solder on my iron and stick it down here. And I'm going to just run it across the bottom here. And that'll solder their cleat on here. So, so this is what it looks like. So we've created a little shelf right here. So when we put our plate across here to hold our solar light, the solar light will be sitting in here like this. It'll be below the level here, just about an eighth of an inch. So, uh, so nobody sees the solar lights when they're in the top here. So we'll have three of these on every panel that has a hanger out. We're going to do this. And on the bottom here, we're also going to put a little tiny plate on it. But we've got a couple problems left with this panel. Is What are we going to do with these down legs coming here? Uh, we, can do a quite a, we can do a couple of things with them. One, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these off a quarter of an inch above our piece right here and then I'm going to take my dikes and I'm going to go right back inside here and I'm going to cut these on the edge and then I'm going to cut the back side of it to make a point and what I'm going to do with that right now here's the piece of glass sticking down here so I'm going to take and I'm going to bend that down into that So now that's helped plug up this area right here because I'm going to solder that shut. Uh, if you don't do that, if you just cut these off straight, you'll have a, a pretty good size hole here that you're going to have to either plug up or just leave open. Um, I like to close up and finish off all my edges. Uh, it gives you a nicer looking job. So uh, that's kind of up to you as you're, as you're starting to learn how to do these. Just take it down, put it down. That one's not quite down all the way. Let's push it down some more. There you go. Okay, if you have a little blob of solder that kind of comes up here, just take your dikes and stick them in here on the edge real close. And just take and push it off like that. It'll wipe it off. Okay, so uh, we're going to solder these shut. And... Uh, so, but I need some way to hold this up so I can solder that. And so there's a couple ways to do it. One, you could put a couple blocks right here to hold it up. Or, or in my case, uh, I'm going to use a, uh, a drill vise. You may have one of these if you're into uh, mechanical things. Um, if not, uh, you can get a couple little blocks of wood or something to hold this up. This is just like a third hand here. Um, and we're going to take it, we're just going to brush this a little bit. Um, the brushing thing is, is probably not really necessary nowadays because the new, the new came uh, takes a lot to really oxidize it. But over the years, I got started about, oh, about 45 or 50 years ago making these. And the came in those days had a tendency to oxidize quite quickly. So what we're going to do, we're going to just take this now and we're just going to take our soldering iron on an angle and we're just going to put a glob of solder right there. We want to solder this back shut like that. We're going to shut it like that. Now we've got a couple options here. One, we could just leave those like that. They don't look bad. Uh, I'm going to take them on some 80 grit sandpaper. I'm going to sand those all down and I'm going to chamfer the edges here just a little bit. But we got a couple things down here to do too. We got one, we got a little bit of uh, crack right here, an opening. You can see that. 
And we want to solder the rest of this cotter pin in here. We're going to solder here in the front and on the back. Right now, it's pretty stable because remember that leg is running back underneath here. But what we're going to do, so we're going to set this on a little bit of an angle. And when you tighten this up, if you're using a vise, when you tighten this vise up, don't get too rambunctious with it because uh, you don't want to uh, uh, bust your glass. So I'll put a little flux around that. This one here, we're just going to take and put a, just a little bit of solder right on the edge here and just plug that hole up. And now, let me move this, this over just a little bit here. So, get a see here where we're at here. There, that's better. I'm going to take the iron. I'm going to put some solder on it just a little bit, like a bubble like that. And I'm going to set it right here, and I'm just going to let it sit until it flows away. There it goes. And do it one more time. And what that's doing, that's sucking that solder down around our cotter pin or our hanger. And that won't be coming out anytime soon. So we'll just turn this side around here. And in this side here, I'm just going to do the same thing. Put a little solder on it. Just let it sit in here until it flows down and fills up any gap. Just like that. Okay, so I'm going to go offline here real quick. I'm going to take and finish up these edges with our uh, 80 grit sandpaper. I'm going to chamfer the edges a little bit. Then we've got one other thing to do on this panel here. So we got a cleat to hold our solar light. I'm going to put a little plate here on the bottom uh, because we're going to put a bottom in this. And I like to put a bottom in them because these are single source lights. They, they shoot straight down. And if you have a bottom in it, then it kind of bounces back up and it'll help illuminate our whole panel. If you don't do that, the light just goes out the bottom and it starts out kind of bright up here and then it gets lighter and lighter as you go down. So we're just going to put a little plate on it. Uh, they're going to, they look like this. Uh, they're made out of uh, a real thin galvanized tin. Uh, get it at the hardware store. Uh, I just cut a little piece. It's about a half an inch across by about an inch. It's going to solder on right here. And we'll take and sell it and seal our bottom uh, onto, the, onto these little tabs when we get this all done. So anyway, we'll go offline, I'll get this cleaned up, and we'll come back, we'll show you how we're going to put that bottom on. And then we'll have, uh, we'll have one panel complete. We'll go ahead and we're going to build two more just like this with the, with the cleat on the top for our solar lights, with the tab on the bottom for our, the bottom of our glass. And then we're going to build three more like this. And they won't have this or the bottom off. They just have the panels in here. And they'll be all at random, all different colors. And, uh, and then we'll go ahead and I'll show you how we're going to put it together. All right, we'll be back as soon as we get this done. And we'll show you how to put that bottom on. Okay, so we're back. We, uh, we Remember, we soldered these corners all, sh all shut. Now, on the sandpaper, I just took and chamfered the edges over here and smoothed them all down. Uh, these little scratches that you see on here as they oxidize will all disappear. So uh, here's our, up around our cotter pen. You can see we've got our uh, hanger really soldered in here good. So it's not going to be coming out. And here's the other corner right here. Okay, so now we're going to put this little tab on the bottom here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. There is one little trick that you have to keep in mind here. Because remember the K we're using here is 7 30 seconds across the crown, but it's rounded. So if you put your tab just straight on here and don't move it up a little bit, it, the sharp edge is going to stick down below it. So what we're going to do, we're going to take and we're going to put this right here um, against it. We're going to take a little block of our framing wood against the top here. And then we're going to take one of our little pieces here. You can see here I've kind of shined it up here because the galvanized sometimes is a little hard to solder if it's not clean. So I lined that up a little bit. And it's going, to, it's going to sit right in here like this. But before you solder it, take your marking pin and mark along the edge of the came. Then raise it up about an eighth of an inch above the came. And take where you've got your top, the top of it here. Take a couple pins and pin that real tight to hold it up against the edge there. And then just take your flux, put it in here. You can just eyeball that, by the way. I just kind of get it in the center there. And I'm going to take my soldering iron. And I'm just going to take my solder, put it on the edge of my iron, stick it right in here. Just let it flow. 
I usually just solder this shut. You could tack solder it if you wanted to. I usually like to just let it flow solder. All right. Once it's all soldered, you just kind of step away from it. Take out your tabs. Take and wipe it down just a little bit. See how this is up off of their edge now so it's not sticking over? Uh, so that way you don't have it hung hung up there. Uh, it's just, you can just see here, it's just been uh, sweat soldered right to the edge here. So now that'll hold our our bottom when the, when the unit's together. This one here is going to hold our solar, solar light shelf. This one's going to hold our bottom in it. So we're going to go offline. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and make all the rest of the panels. There we'll, so we'll make five more, uh, two just like this one with the cleats on it, and three without the cleats on it. And when we come back, we'll show you how we're going to put this together. I have a little fixture. It's uh, it has as uh, two V shaped uh, slots in it that are set on a, a thirty degree angle. So our panels will sit in here like this. And the other panel will sit in here like this and we'll solder right across the inside here. So from the outside, you won't see any solder at all how this is put together. So you'll get a nice clean uh, look to it. So here again, I hope you're following along. Uh, if you're very, if you're really new to leaded glass uh, and you, this seems a little complicated to do all these different little weird sizes and so forth, uh, go back and watch my first video. It's called uh, leaded glass solar lights for beginners and we just made one with three or four different size glass pieces pre-cut and we just stuck and put them in here and we scattered them around and i think they were two inches high we had two four six inches down and it came out real nice so uh, you can do that also and like i say the length of this depends on whatever you want to that's that's the builder's choice so i just decided to make it this size if I make another one like this, it may be shorter or longer because uh, they're all original art pieces. They're not, uh, they're not, I, I never make anything exactly the same twice. So anyway, we'll be back on the next video uh, and we'll show you how we're going to put this all together. All right, we're back here. Uh, we've got all six of our panels made now. Uh, we've got the three here with the hangers on them. So they came out real nice. Here's the, here's our hanger right here. And remember that hanger, the leg goes back underneath here, so they won't be coming out of there. And these also have the cleat for the shelf to hold our solar lights. And it has the little tab on the bottom here. Uh, that'll hold the bottom in so we'll have a reflective surface on it. So we've got those done, and then we have the three panels done that have nothing on them. They're, they are just clean all the way around. All the edges have been uh, filled and chamfered in, so they look real nice. So that'll give us a nice finish on that. So now we're going to put this together. And to put it together, I have a little fixture here that I've made. If you look at it real close here, these V's here are on a 30 degree angle. And what happens is when we put these pieces in here, we will create um, two panels that will be soldered together at 30 degrees. And then we'll move around and we'll, we'll put all of... Uh, We'll put two, two sets together or three sets together and then we'll come around and we'll put them back uh, and put it all together. So anyway, I'll show you how that's going to work here. So we'll move these out of the way. And we'll take our little fixture here. We'll set it in here so you can see it here. We'll get it straightened up here. Okay, so we're going to take another one with the hanger. Put it in here. Push them down nice and tight. And if you are concerned that they're not quite tight enough, just put a little blob of solder on here and push it down together. Pull that down, hold it tight. Here again, put a little bit of solder on your iron. Hold it tight. And we'll come down here at the end here. So now we got the second one done. Have a nice tight seam right here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we'll 
solder the last two pair together. So we'll just put a little blob of solder on our, we'll hold these down tight and we'll just take and put this right in here. Just make a solder joint here. Another blob of solder right here. And we'll put one right down at the bottom here. Okay, so that gives us three uh, sets of these that are all together now. So we'll go ahead and we're going to uh, take and we'll put these in here again. And they'll create this situation like that. Okay, so now we've got... We've got four of our panels together, so we'll take and we'll take and solder those. Here again, just take a little blob of solder. Gonna reach in here and push these together tight. Get a little bit more solder on here. And we'll come down at the bottom here and we'll put one more down here. Okay, then the last one here, we're just gonna take and we'll rotate it one more time. We'll set it in here like this. Okay, so we got everything soldered together except for this last set of panels. I moved them down here together. So we're just gonna take and we're gonna put a little flux right in here, all the way down to the end. And we're gonna take our siren iron. We'll just put a little, little dab of solder on it. We're taking hold it down tight. And we'll just let it so let it solder right between the V joint right here. Just like that. Then I'm just going to go inside with my solder and I'll catch one right here in the middle. And then I'll come all the way down to the end here and I'll get one more down here. Okay, so we got it all together now. So there's our six-sided project. We've got our three hangers here. Uh, we can go back inside now and we can solder that up really tight. I kind of like to leave it loose a little bit. So in case we need to adjust something, you see here, right here, we've got a little gap right here. I can take and, uh, and hold those together and just heat that solder joint right here, this solder joint, and push those back together so it, uh, it doesn't have that gap in it. So we can check out all of our edges and uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, we'll create a plate to go in here, a little shelf to hold our solar lights and we'll cut a bottom. We're gonna use a piece of mirror for the bottom and we'll get it together and then uh, we'll uh, take it in, we'll light it up. So hope you followed along on that. Okay, so we got our project all uh, cleaned up now and we took it and we washed it. Uh, just use uh, soap and water to go over everything and clean it all up. Uh, in the top here, I've added three little supports here. Uh, these help strengthen it because it is on the, uh, has six sides. It sometimes are prone to uh, to change their size or to wiggle around a little bit. So this will help strengthen that. We're gonna do something a little bit different with this one. We've never done this with any of the other ones. Uh, we're gonna take and Pantene this one. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, we're gonna take and turn this actually black. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be using a product. This is the this is the product right here. This is a black Pantene. It's for solder and lead. And uh, you can apply it with a, uh, with a small brush. I just take a little cup. And uh, whatever you do, uh, pour it into something. Don't dip it in. Don't d dip your, uh, your brush into the uh, bottle itself because you'll, you'll uh, destroy the uh, potency of the, of the product. So 
Can I just go ahead and put a little bit in here? If you're not familiar with it, it's kind of a blue looking color. But before we do this, I, I cleaned this really good with soap and water. But I'm going to take a, a scotch Bright pad and I'm going to go over the whole thing just a little bit. Just kind of cleans it up a little bit and it gives a little bit of a tooth for the pantene to stick to. So take and shine it up really, really good. When it looks shiny like that, just go ahead and in this case, we're just going to turn it to the next side. If you don't do this, you'll get kind of a spotty looking uh, pantene. Uh, we're going to pantene both sides, inside and outside. Uh, the inside is a little bit difficult because we uh, we uh, won't be able to use the scotch bright that much. Uh, you could almost leave the inside just uh, the way it is because no one's going to be seeing it. But we want to take and shine this up real good so we can get it to go in. So we get it all shined up here. Okay, so after we get it kind of shined up, we're going to take our Pantene and we're going to take our brush and we're just going to dip it in here. As when we start to apply this, you'll see that it starts to turn our lead black and our solder black. It's kind of a charcoal gray color. Uh, kind of gives you just a different look to it. One thing about doing the Pantene is that if uh, it, it really makes the glass stand out. I've done a lot of Pantene windows for, for people and uh, most everybody seems to like to have the Pantene done. It does a couple other things too. It hides all the solder joints after a while. You don't even notice that it's been soldered together. So you can just go ahead and just brush this all on. Turns it a nice grayish black. Uh, and you don't, it doesn't really help much if you just keep going over and over and over. Once, once you've touched it with the reaction of the, of the Pantene, it's pretty much, pretty much done what it's going to do. Uh, we can just take and turn this to the next one and we can just keep on going. We'll just go all the way around. But uh, rather than you watch me Pantene all of these, we'll just go offline real quick and we get them all done. And then we'll show you what we're going to do with it. All right, our project is uh, coming to its close. Uh, we've got it all Pantene now. We took and we put in, uh, some uh, polish on it. We polished it all up. You can see the Pantene looks nice and shiny. It looks black. Our glass is nice and clean. So the next step we're going to do, we're going to put a bottom in it. The bottom is going to go in here. Uh, I cut one out of a piece of a mirror. I pre-fit uh, it so it fits in here. And I've marked where our tabs are. So I'm going to use a little uh, silicon uh, glue. I'll put it in these areas and then we'll put it inside and I'll show you how we're going to do that. So we're going to just take this and we're going to take in our, take our, we're just going to use an E6000 and we're going to put just a little dab here. We'll put on these three little tabs here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to insert this with the mirror side going to be facing inside. So this will be, this is the bottom of it right here. So we're just going to set this inside here like this. And we're going to let it sit down inside our project here. And when you get it down in here, just take and lift up your lamp, your lantern. And you let it fall right just like that. And you can move it around a little bit if you want to kind of center it a little bit here. Uh, we left some edges open around the edge because these are outside. So when it rains, uh, the rain can just go right through them. After you glue it, take some of your little form pieces here and uh, set them on here so that they will hold it up off of your table so that you can uh, take and make sure they don't glue your lantern to your table. I usually just take a, one of our little form pieces right here and I just push it down again against this real tight here. I 
All right, like that. And then we have a piece of, of uh, shelf material. I talked about this before. This is made out of a uh, cutting mat for uh, quilters or sewers. Uh, if you don't have anybody that has one of these, uh, you might just ask around. You might find somebody that's going to throw one away. And uh, you can just take and you will set it uh, in into your solar light. You're just going to sit in here like this. You could take and glue this down if you wanted to. I usually leave it open so if I want to go inside here, I can still reach inside and uh, clean this. So if we've done this right, we should be able to get our three solar panels in here. Which we did, so we're doing good on that. Uh, I'm going to put together a chain real quick, and when I come back, we'll go ahead and hook up the chain, and the project will be done. So I uh, hope you've been following along. Uh, this is going to be an interesting project. I've, I've had so much fun doing this one. Uh, maybe we'll make another one, and we'll change the design. And this one here is just kind of a, a real quick uh, use up a lot of scrap glass that you've got laying around, and uh, so it was fun to make. So. Uh, we'll be back in a minute. We'll put a chain on it. And then from there, we're going to go into our laundry room and uh, we'll uh, turn off the light and then we'll make the solar lights think it's gone dark and it'll light it up. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so we're back. We got our chain made up. Here it is right here. Uh, this is a jack chain. You can get it in, uh, in zinc colored or you can get it in black. Uh, the hardware that I'm using here is a... Uh, Half inch across split ring, has a ball bearing swivel here, and then this one here is five eighths across. Uh, it works very nice. Uh, this is an open loop chain, which basically means that it, when you open it up, it has a loop on the end of it like this. Get this over here so you can see it. Before we put the chain on, I'm going to show you one more little trick. When you pantene, and if you're using glass polish, sometimes in the Real small areas here, like the small, where you've got the small pieces of glass. You'll get a little bit of wax that you can't get out of there. Uh, if you've got an old electric toothbrush, like this one here, one you're going to throw away, hang on to it and just take, turn it on and just take it on an angle and you go in right up against your cane. And you'll dust out any of those areas that have any wax residue left on there so you just go over your whole piece especially if you're using like down here where we use a lot of little tiny pieces uh, they're kind of hard to get with a uh, with a soft cloth uh, i usually take after i wax my glass i usually use a brush to brush it out but it still gets in here so you can just go ahead and go around it with a with your electric toothbrush and that works real nice that's just a little little trip trick to try there. Um, so our chain, I'm going to take it and uh, it just goes in our, I usually go from the outside in like that and I'm just going to take and close this up. Uh, you don't have to squeeze it real tight, just close it up like that and then uh, take the other one right here, bring it in here, close it up. And then we'll take the last one and we'll take and put it in here like this. We'll hold it tight. Close it up. So we'll insert our uh, solar lights. Uh, we'll pull these tabs out when we get them ready to light them up. Otherwise the battery won't be activated. So remember, these are the guys that charge by daylight and they'll burn when it gets dusk. They'll come on and they'll burn in the evening. So the project's basically done. All we have to do is uh, take it into the laundry room and we're going to light it up and uh, you'll get a chance to see what your hard work looks like. I hope you've enjoyed the video and, uh, and hopefully uh, you'll give it a try. All right, we got our project all done. We're in the laundry room. Going to get ready to make it go dark. This is what our project's going to look like at night. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, please watch my YouTube channel. Thank you.